after you find that person and that it's ripped from you. It's just, it's, it's, I just, it's a feeling that you can't describe. Dozens of couples are scrambling tonight to find a new place to have a wedding. Noah's event venue suddenly shut down today. Now these couples are out thousands of dollars. Pam Serrano spoke with a few of those couples tonight. Pam. Yes, yeah, Susan, a national bankruptcy is having a ripple effect across the country, affecting not only couples here in Pittsburgh who are left with broken hearts, but a countless number of couples nationwide who have been left in the same situation. We went and got our marriage license. Emily and Jared met two years ago, and the biggest day of their lives was coming up fast. When we saw the text, we were kind of just like, this isn't happening because... Um, we don't really know what we're going to do because our wedding is two weeks away. In two weeks, Emily and Jared were supposed to have 250 guests here at Noah's event facility in Cranberry. But this morning, through word of mouth and countless social media posts, they heard Noah's was closing. The couple who met in church where Jared is a worship leader was supposed to not only have the reception here, but their ceremony. Emily's dad built a nine-foot wooden cross for the special day. The couple is trying to stay positive, but they're out a lot of money. We paid like 7500 for this place. We're not going to get that back. I don't think we're going to see that back. Word spread like wildfire online that dozens of NOAA's 30 facilities nationwide were closing. A United States bankruptcy court filing from May in the state of Utah, where NOAA's is headquartered, lists the company's liabilities between 10 and $50 million. It also makes the Cranberry location and South Point location among those affected, Derek and Bonzel were supposed to be married in May. Us being a gay couple, you fight for years to have the right to get married, and then you work and give every dime to make that dream come true. The couple's down payment was for over $10,000, and the news has left them heart sick. And it's like, are you kidding me? You're doing it to these, to these people, everyday people like us that work really hard for the penny, for the dollar. <laughs> The two had big plans for their big day since Derek proposed to Bonzel during an orchestrated flash mob in Market Square. They opened a hair salon together in Bridgeville, and at least three other brides from the salon were also booked at Noah's. If they would have been honest with us then, we would have had time. Now, we could not get a hold of Noah's corporate for a response tonight, but the fear of many of these couples is with a bankruptcy, they will never recoup their losses. Lots of facilities reaching out to these couples online tonight, including the airport Marriott, trying to help them restore their broken dreams quickly. Reporting live downtown, Pam Serrano, KDKA News.